Hey guys, assalamu alaikum. It's Jenergy. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my kitchen. Today's video, we're going to be doing something a little different, but something similar to a pillow. It is a one pot dish, and we're going to be calling it a curry chicken lentils cook up. Just in case you guys were really wondering what this is, well, like I said, it is similar to like a pilau, and I've even done the curry pilau, so it's something similar to that, but we're not going to be using coconut milk in it, we're not going to be using peas and carrots, so it's similar, but slightly different. How I came about with this, well, sometimes I am finding myself in the kitchen, not sure what to cook, and just like everybody else, sometimes you just don't even feel like cooking. So I was thinking lentils, rice, chicken, but for some reason I was thinking curry. So I say, well, why not just put everything in one pot and cook it up? And that's exactly what we're going to be doing in this video. So these are the, all the ingredients that we will need for this uh, dish. I'm going to be using chicken stock. Now, for those of you who are wondering, chicken stock, you can make it at home. Unfortunately, I don't have a video on that just yet, but it's really simple. So if you're going to be using like chicken breasts for chicken paste, like I have a video up on that, or anything that you're using, and you find you have like leftover bones or something, I usually put it into a pot and put some seasoning in it and you can put some carrots and onions and stuff like that and just let it boil for a couple of hours and you get a nice broth of stuff that you can use in your foods. Of course you can buy it in the supermarkets as well if you want to go that way. But if you don't have the broth or the stuff that's okay you can just go ahead and use some water you can add a little butter to it to still get that sort of extra flavor in it. I also have my soaked parboiled rice, washed and soaked parboiled rice here. My chicken is already cut into small pieces. I'm going to be using the JJM products in the curry line. We're going to be using the hot hot curry, ancha masala, saffron and jeera. And most important, green seasoning as well. I'll post the link for this down below just in case some of you guys may not be familiar with the green seasoning. And of course, the other usual items must have onions, garlic, hot peppers, pimentos, curry leaves. So the soaked lentils is what I'm going to be using. Um, if you want to use any other peas or beans, that's all up to you. So we're going to start off by seasoning the chicken. We're going to add the green seasoning. We're going to add some of the curry powder. Some of the amchar masala goes in there as well as salt and black pepper. Now don't add too much. Of course, you can add later on in the cooking process. Going to mix this all up and you can either let this marinate for a little while or you can go ahead and cook it immediately. I usually like to leave mine to marinate for about an hour, two hours or so, even sometimes overnight. The flavors in there is just amazing when you let it marinate. We're going to be sauteing the onions, the hot peppers, pimentos and the curry leaves. We're keeping the heat on low, medium or on the low side. And then we're going to be adding our curry powder to it. Now this step involves toasting the curry powder. So once it's added in there, we're just going to keep stirring it up. Make sure that heat is low. And we're just going to keep stirring it on for about 2 to 3 minutes or so. If it does start to stick or burn, just add a little water if necessary. Make sure it's toasted nicely. I'm going to be adding some more water to it now and I'm just going to let this cook until it has that nice curry, thick curry paste that you're seeing there. And then we're going to be adding our seasoned chicken pieces to the pot. We're going to stir this up, make sure that those pieces are nicely coated with that curry paste. And we're just going to let this cook for about 5 to 10 minutes or so. What's going to happen, the meat usually uh, springs its own water, so you want that liquid or that, that liquid from the, the meat to dry up first before you continue cooking. So once most of that liquid is gone and just before it begins to stick to the pot there, we are going to be adding the lentils. Mix that in. Get it coated nicely with that curry as well and we're going to be adding some liquid to the pot. Stir that all up and then in goes that washed and soaked rice. Mix everything up nicely there. I'm going to be adding just a little bit of saffron. This is just optional actually. If you want a more yellow sort of curry, you can add some of the saffron powder to it. Once everything is all coated up nicely there, in goes the chicken stock and some water. 
So we added enough liquid just to cover the contents in the pot. Now the amount of liquid that you would need, just as with pilau, it will depend on how exactly you like your rice. Some people might like it more on the wet side, some people might like it more on the dry side. So you can add a little water, keep stirring it from time to time, and add more if necessary, or until the rice is soft to your liking. So it can take 30, 35, 40 minutes. Again, it depends on how soft you want your rice. I like my more on the soft side, so I'm going to be adding some more water to it. So while we have this up, let's work on that pepper, onion, pepper chow. Now, this is one of my favorite things and it goes so well with curry dishes. So it's just basically sliced up onions, peppers, some shadowbenny and some garlic, lime juice, salt and black pepper. So it's really delicious if you've never tried it before, give this a try, especially with your, like, your curries and your dal, real good. So all you're really going to be doing is thinly slicing the onions up. You can use red onions as well if you would like, it's up to you. Once you have all the onions sliced, you're going to be slicing up that pepper too. So this is like a spicy condiment. And be careful with the pepper. I usually hold it with my hands, it doesn't really bother me, but be careful of course. You're going to be add, chopping up some shadow benny or cool antro and some garlic as well. And once we have all the ingredients nicely chopped up, nicely sliced all we're going to be doing is just adding it to a bowl and then in goes lime juice now the lime juice is very important it adds that it makes it ties in all the flavors salt goes in and black pepper goes in as well mix it all up and yep that's all your onion pepper chow is so now let's check back on that curry cook up add in some sive some celery goes in there and this looks just about perfect for me so this is what the curry chicken lentils cook up looks like and of course that onion pepper chow perfect combination so like i said guys this was just one of those things i say well i really do feel like putting up lentils rice and chicken i wanted something curry everything in one pot delicious if you've tried it before i know some of you guys are very adventurous and had like to have fun in the kitchen like i do so some of you guys probably would have tried it already again something similar to the curry pilau have not tried it try this one for sure so like i always tell you guys my videos are just fun for fun i genuinely have fun in the kitchen and it's all about sharing so many dishes that i cook for myself and at home showing you guys how to make them as well some of you guys might not like it some might like it but it's all good it's just about having fun in the kitchen hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to give it a big thumbs up and of course don't forget to share with all your friends and your family as always guys, very much appreciated. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys in my next video.